disgusting how some vulgar folks behave when they sit down to eat their food. My father was a baker, so I'm quite well bred, you see. And no one's more particular when eating food than me. To give you information, I am able on how you should behave when you are at table. Never use your fingers when you're eating stew. Wipe your plate with bread just like the big pots do. Peas should not be eaten with your knife, it's true. Eat them from the sauce, unlike the big pots do. Never put both elbows on the table when you eat. Leave a bit of room for other folks to part their feet. Always hold your kipper with one hand, not two. And wave it while you're eating like the big pots do. You should all remember when you're eating your dessert that tripe is not a hot house fruit. And when you're eating oranges, mind where you shoot the pips. And hold the paper gracefully when eating fish and chips. Don't call attention to your host, Carbuncle. Or remind him of the day they hanged his uncle. Smoke between the courses, that's the fashion new. Leave the fag ends on your plate, the big pots do. If your playful hostess throws a roll at you, smack her with a jelly like the big pots do. When you're eating ices, here's a wheeze that you can crack. Ices look so pretty sliding down a lady's back. If the spoons are silver, pocket one or two to add to your collection like the big pots do. Soup should not be eaten with a sponge. Oh no! Gargle with it loudly like the big pots do. When you're eating winkles and the pins are few, smash them with a hammer like the big pots do. Watermelons make you rather damp behind the ears. Onions are pathetic and they make you melt in tears. When you eat these dainties, you may get wet through. So wear your bathing costume like the big pot do.